But let's also talk about、uh, something very fun in terms of anime film related news interest pieces. So, to commemorate the release of Dragon Ball Super Broly, the 20th dra- film in the Dragon Ball franchise coming out, the official website for Dragon Ball Super Broly conducted an online poll to ask Japanese fans to pick their most、uh, favorite Dragon Ball film in its 32 year history. And so,、uh, here are the top five films chosen by over 6,000 fans. So, coming in at number five. Was the return of Cooler. What? Yeah. At number four is Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Okay.、Uh, number three is Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Of course. At number two is Battle of Gods. And at number one is Fusion Reborn. So there are only two movies in this top five that I personally like, but I'm not surprised that the top five is what it is. Considering that Cooler and Broly are popular characters, and the new movies were well received, and Fusion Reborn is also very popular. But see, you can tell, you can understand now all the decisions that went into making Dragon Ball Super Broly, considering what the most popular films from those classic era films were. Like Fusion Reborn and Broly being like the most popular, like classic era films. Like, yeah, okay, so now we understand their, their thought process into what they wanted the 20th movie to be about. <sighs> Oh, oh my god, they're gonna make a cooler movie next. They're totally gonna do that. They're totally gonna make cooler canon. I, I fully expect that to happen. I'm surprised they didn't do it in Dragon Ball Super Broly, but maybe that's some of the extra material that got cut out from the final version that was in Toriyama's original draft. I don't know. If they reinvent Cooler like they did Broly, I'm sure, and make him an actually good character, like that could be good. I mean, Cooler, it's not like Cooler was a terrible character to begin with. It's just that he wasn't that distinct from Frieza, and also his movies weren't good because they're very boring. I, I thought the first Cooler movie was okay. It wasn't really like anything special. Return of Cooler just like actively offends me because it's like. This guy got blasted into the sun. There's no- Oh, that's what you're coming. Like, at the end of Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, Broly explodes and he's in- inexplicably back for a sequel. Like, But, Lob, Dragon, Ball talk- villains, <laughs> Dragon Ball villains can escape all sorts of bullshit. Free- Think about Frieza. Frieza was on Namek when it exploded. He survived that. And somehow cooler, like. <laughs> Go, it's the sign. the sign. You don't come back from being burnt by the sign. How is that any more ridiculous than getting blown up when the planet is blown up and coming back as a cyborg? It's, it's not any more ridiculous. I'm sure, like, the heat you have to endure is about the same. But see, here's the thing though, right? Like, it's not even that he gets, like, blown into the sun. It's that, like, one piece of him just happened to survive and just happened to be collected by this collection of space junk. Like, it just, just like the, um, I don't know what you call it. The, um, just, just the, like, um,、uh, how contrived that all that was just kind of got under my skin. And that's why I don't like that movie. Other, like, I could take a lot of bullshit from Dragon Ball. Believe it or not, I can. But it just felt so transparently like, yep, this just happened to work. Like, I don't know. I, that, that's why I don't like Return of Cooler in particular. I don't know. Return of Cooler is less boring than the first Cooler, if only because the battle between Goku and Vegeta and the Metal Coolers is at least very desperate, and that's interesting. It's less boring, but it's more stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I prefer more stupid to more boring. Like,、I'm, I don't know. I'm fine with stupid as long as it doesn't just, like, I don't know. I just felt like that, like, just kind of insulted my intelligence a little bit. And it's very rare that I feel like that watching anything. All, all the dra- like, all those, like, most of those original Dragon Ball Z films are like that. They're either boring or they're either stupid or they're both. Look, point is, I'm dying on that hill and nobody can take me off of it anyway. Um, <laughs> I mean, I agree with you that they're bad, though. That it's bad. I don't think it's a good movie at all. See, see the other movies I'm, I'm fine with. Like, I like Fusion Reborn just fine. I think、uh, it's. 
See, I I thought that was one of the more fun Dragon Ball Z movies. I saw it again, like, when they showed it in theaters in November, and it was like, no. Like, (laughs) the the most interesting... Janemba is interesting in terms of, like, how he fights and stuff, but the plot isn't great. Like, they kind of waste the premise with this idea of all the villains escaping from hell. The Gotenk stuff is just a drag. The Goten and go the Goten and Trunks stuff, which, and then the Goten stuff is a drag. Mm, uh, that's fair. The stuff where they fight basically Hitler hasn't aged well in terms of the jokes, uh, and the whole build up to Gogeta is a kind of a complete anticlimax. So I don't know. Janemba to me just kind of felt like let's let's do Majin Buu again. That's all the movie villains. They're all like, let's do this <laughs> character from the series again. Cooler is Frieza again. Uh, the Android 13 and uh, is the androids again. Lord Slug's King Piccolo again. Turles is evil Goku. Saiyan <laughs> arc again. It's, okay, it's all fair, repeating fair enough. the stuff from the show again. That's all those Dragon Ball Z movies were. They were like, oh, let's, let's do this idea from the show. But... Just change some things to try, but not really do a good job of hiding the fact we're just uh, cannibalizing ourselves. But I do think it's interesting that Fusion Reborn is the most popular Dragon Ball movie, even more so than Battle of the Gods. Like, again, I think that goes to show what Toei's thought process was in what they put into Dragon Ball Super Broly. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm just glad that Battle of Gods is number two on the list because that's... I don't know if I want to say it's my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie, but it's pretty up there. Like, what would be your favorite if it's in Battle of Gods? See, I see. I don't know. Like, I haven't seen a lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies in a long time. That's why I don't want to commit to an answer, because I haven't. I, I I need to rewatch some of them. I mean, like, Battle of Gods is definitely up there. Um, personally, I like Dead Zone and The World's Strongest. Those are probably two of my favorites, uh, just because I'm personally a fan of, like, that era of Dragon Ball. I don't know, like, the, the, those are probably, like, my top three, I guess, if I really had to, like, pick three of them. But, but, but like I said, I'd, I'd have to watch, like, most of them again. All I know is I just, I love Battle of Gods. Like, it's probably the best, like, recent movie so far. Then again, I haven't seen Broly, so I'll just have to wait and see how that turns out. Yeah, Battle of Gods and Resurrection Enough are definitely my favorites, and then... I don't know if I really like any of the other Dragon Ball Z films, but I like those original Dragon Ball films well enough, like Mystical Adventure and uh, Sleeping Princess and Devil's Castle and stuff like that. I've never seen those. So I need to really? get to those. Yeah, oh, I've yeah. I've only ever seen Curse of the Blood Rubies. Mm, that one is probably the weakest of that for those first three Dragon Ball movies. I'll have to get to those at some point. But um, yeah, no, interesting list, very telling of um. Of the fandom over in Japan, I guess. 